Hey everybody and welcome. This is Cherry A with Cherry A Chatters and I am here to do for the wonderful modded Minecraft survival the empire. We're building an empire. We're in the mine shaft right now or at least the mine that we're going to be creating and I figured I would start this episode off with a bang and harvest these diamonds that I got. We will harvest the gold as well. Ooh, oh yeah! Diamonds! Achievement get! We've got them! No one can take our diamonds from us! And oh! Crud! No! Lost a stupid diamond! Well, it was a happy day. I can't even look at you, piece of coal. I can't even look at you. Alright. So, one of the things that I'd forgotten to get, actually, was some stairs. So, we're gonna go ahead and go get the stairs, or at least I will. You probably won't have to, because you're good like that. And I've got like five gold, this is awesome. So, again, this is probably something that you all don't wanna have to watch, because I do tend to mine a lot. So, I'm gonna go ahead and fix the stairs, and then we're going to talk a little bit about what we're going to do today. Alright? Capiche, capiche? Why? Why am I standing in the middle of a lava pool, you may ask? That is an excellent question. I find that to be a super, super excellent question, which I will answer for you briefly. Okay, so I made a diamond pickaxe, right? Perfect. So I'm just going to, you know, start clearing a path a little bit, you know? We're going to need this stuff for uh, an enchanting table anyways, an ender chest and actually this one is all that good stuff, so I might as well do it now. Now unfortunately for me I have no idea how deep this goes. From the sounds of it, probably pretty darn deep, so I have to come at it from the side. I don't know, actually I shouldn't do that because that's where my staircase is. So. Step up here. Okay, that's not too bad. That, however, has lava. Okay. Well, at least I know that there's nothing there, so we're gonna take that pickaxe and go for it! Now, obviously, this is a very dangerous and very lengthy task. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and get... 14 um, obsidian and I will go back up to the top and then we can start working on that farm that we want to do that I want to do so much haha <laughs> see you then well I think that this up here would be a perfect area for farms so I got myself a bucket of water obviously since you know I did all that wonderful stuff before so we're gonna go ahead and set it up. Alright, so I want the road to come down this way. So it'll come out this way. I might have to like take out some of this and then come over here. Okay. Over here and then, I don't know, we could kind of like take a turn here. So this will mark the edge of it. And all this out here is going to be farmland. So currently you just got the three farm crops, which is not a big deal. I'm sure I'll find pumpkins and melon seeds soon. But anyways, I find that, you know, the most efficient use of it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right there. Alright, wow! Well, that was fast. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right there. So here in the middle, one, two, three, four, five. Alright, perfect. One, two, three, four, five. 
Okay. For now, that's what's going to have to happen. Okay, so that will hydrate all the squares around it. So I'm going to get rid of this and get rid of this. All right. So we're going to go ahead, take our handy dandy hoe, and go one, two, three, four. Perfect. is already hydrating it as we can see and I'll just go ahead and finish hoeing all this up and then we're going to start our transfer of our little crops over to the spot although sometime in the middle of that I'll probably be also sleeping okay all right so this is what I have thus far this, these are the carrots over here the potatoes are lined up right here um, I'm just waiting on finding a swamp so I can cover that with a lily pad so you don't randomly walk into it all the time. Those Endermen, man. Woo! So the hoe is practically gone right now, and I don't have any um, pumpkins or melon seeds, so that's pretty much the farm setup right now. I forgot! I forgot that I have that with me. I love Tree Capitator! I, I can't believe I forgot I had Tree Capitator. I could go on a tree killing spree and it would be awesome. Let's just do that again. All right. I only got four saplings. A total of four from all four trees. That's ridiculous. Plum bob, ridiculous. That's what that is. All right, so we got that. And there's probably gonna be a walkway in between. It's fine. I thought maybe, do we have enough room for this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Uh, I could, I could take that out. You know, if I had a shovel. But mm, hold on. So there'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. So at least I'll have some idea of what to excavate when I actually make my shovel. Power fact run. So we got our farm done. Check off one from our list. Now we do have, I haven't transferred all the crops over, unfortunately. I think those are the potatoes or the, this, these are the carrots. Okay, so I've kind of been like waiting for them all to grow. I think I should start getting some cows and pigs. So let me go grab some more fence posts and we're going to build um, a shelter for the pigs and the cows and the sheeps. And then we're gonna make ourselves a wonderful little farm of animals. Yay! So I'm thinking that the wonderful little animal pens would be better over here on this level. And then we just leave the actual agriculture farms up there on that level thus keep them separate. Now, I tend to like doing a semi-automatic farm for the animals as well. So, you know, I'll, I'll probably do that eventually once I get a steady supply of iron. However, I currently don't have that. So, yeah. No steady supply of iron for me. Okay. So here's a nice open area for our animal pins. Let's make a uh, cow pin first. Um, mm, mm, mm. And one more out, and that should be good. Now I should have left room for the fence gate, but there it is. Okay, and now the next one is gonna be a little too wide walkway for me. Let's do this is pigs. Pigsy pigsy. Oops. How many is that? It's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah. I did push it out one too many. Okay. And here it goes. And I still didn't leave a space for that. Oh wait, I think it would be better if it was on the other side, actually. Because that's the side that this one's going to open and close on, so I, it would be more convenient. Okay. And maybe one out here for, like, the sheepies. Two out again. 
and then have the fence gate here. That would be convenient. I'm all about convenience. Have you noticed that? All about convenience. So what's all been happening in your guys' lives? What's going on? Anything interesting? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's see, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm always curious. I do like to hear from you all. Fun times. Nope. Because hmm. otherwise, it's just like I'm talking to empty air, and I know you're not all empty air. So, mm -hmm. what do you all like about Minecraft? What do you find really interesting and fun, and that you just want to keep playing, and that's the reason you started to begin with? So, yeah, I think that would be fun to know. We can all find out a little bit about each other. I'll tell you a little bit about what I like about Minecraft and such. So, I think I started playing Minecraft because of my brother, actually. Because he had actually been playing it, and I like to find something to, you know, do with him. So, we went ahead and started playing. I downloaded, did I download his at first? And then I just went ahead and downloaded my own after a while. I just went ahead and paid for my own because I liked it so much. I don't recall. Either way, and it was really fun. And once I got into it, I don't even notice the graphics anymore, which is, I've noticed what a lot of people's problem is with the graphics. They're like, ah, it's disgusting. How could you sit there and play such a game? Well, it's, it's just fun. There's a lot of stuff that you can do with it. I like how you can basically, like I said, build your own empire. I don't have any carrots in here, do I? Oh well. So, we can at least get the cows while we wait for the carrots to grow. So, yeah. I liked it. And I thought to myself, I should totally keep doing this. And, yeah, I built a really long rail system in one of my first games ever. That was fun. And, hmm... I built a house into a hill, which took me a really long time to excavate, and I will have to admit, it wasn't the greatest thing. It was basically just a square shell of a place with a lot of rooms that had no purpose at all, except for to get lost, because it was all made of cobblestone. I don't see any cows over here. We gotta find them eventually. So, that one, I think that one I spawned in a jungle. And I had a starter chest in that one, but I never found it because I got lost <laughs> and didn't couldn't find my spawn again. I don't think I ever found that starter chest. Or if I did, it was like long after. I didn't need it anymore, but I don't think I ever found it. Oh look, surface lava! Can anyone say fuel for a furnace? Very good. Okay, I, I just want the cows. Why are the cows not here? You know what? I can tell that this is going to be one of those things that's going to take a long time to find because I can't even find any cows or sheep. Well, the sheep are over there somewhere, but I need the cows. I need the cows for their leather so I can make books, so I can, you know, get my enchanting table and so on. Well, if I find cows or something interesting, I will just pop back in. Alright, so I found some cows and pumpkins. So this is a good thing for me. At least I can start growing pumpkins now. So I'm gonna grab some. I've gotten like shot up a lot by skeletons. Oop, oop. Silly thing. And one to grow on. And another one, and let's just take them all. I am a pig for the pumpkins. A pumpkin pig. It almost looked like that spider was riding that sheep for a little bit, but I know it wasn't. Okay, so let us try the trek back with the cows. That just seems like an accident waiting to happen, actually. Because there was a lot of mobs between me and my base. Mm. So, 
I'm going to tower up and wait for daytime. Well, I just came across that water, and you know what? I think I think there's something missing. Hold on. I think I forgot to turn on my shaders. I thought I already had them on, but apparently I didn't. Oh. Well, hold on a second. Let me go ahead and get out and then come back and my shader should be on. Mm -hmm. There it is. I think what had happened is that when I had made the mod pack for the, um, the Coco Craft server, I had only been able to use like shaders and stuff. You know, it was decorative. And I, I hadn't actually um, copied and pasted. I had just drug and drop. So I didn't actually have them in it. So I was using my shaders for the server and hadn't realized that, yeah, I didn't have them any longer for this. You, it's just so bad. Oh my goodness, is that, that's one of the trees that I grew. Holy cow. That's like a tower. Look at that! That's gonna be interesting to try to get. Okay, I've got everybody still. Good. Okay, there's the pins down there. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Almost got gotcha. you. I've lost and gained several sheep since I started this. I think I had like two other white ones and a black one. And then I picked up another white one. And then, yeah. So. This is going to be interesting. All right, so come over here. There we go. And done. Okay, stop that. And done. Perf. That was that actually worked out way better than I thought it would. Okay, guys. Oh wait, actually the sheep are over here. Hey, look! Look what I have. Yeah, isn't it fascinating? One at a time, everybody. One at a time. One at a time. One mm. at a time. Come on. One at a time. <sighs> hey, you. Knock it off. Let your twin brother in. Come on, twin brother. Let's go. It's amazing how quick they are. Mm. Let's try over this way. Come on. There we go. That got him. All the way in. All the way in. Perfect. And done. Alright, I'm going to use this to breed the cows really quick. Oh, a good day's work. Look at that. I've got some cows. I've got some sheep. All I need is the pigs. Which means we need to go check on the carrots. Okay. I don't think they any of them grown, but the wheat has. Good for the wheat. Um, and jump. Oh, come on. And jump again. Yay. So I think maybe I'll try to get the pigs before I end this episode off. And it's kind of getting to the point where I might just like grab the carrots up now because it's taking too long. Let's see if any of these carrots have grown. No. Wait. Nope, those are potatoes. False alarm. Okay, we're gonna grab up these carrots. I think the potatoes are on the end, so yeah, I was right. And I'll just take these potato these carrots and go get me some pigs. Piggy piggy piggies. Where are you, piggies? There you are. There's one. I just need two of you. Do I have any other volunteers? Well, yes, I know you're really excited. Who's this? Is this another one? Yes. Okay, both of you. Oh, all three of you have been recruited. Let's go. Yep. This is a grand evening for a stroll in the moonlight with my pigs. With my pigs. Oh, of course I like you too, Fluffy. Oh, crud! Move it! Move it, pigs! It's time to move it! You know what? Pigs, you just, you just hang out there, and I'm gonna go sleep. Oh, yeah. You know, it feels like this particular section. Move, move, run away.
away. Why? You know what? This base has got problems. Creeper problems. I need to find a desert. No, not a desert. I need to find a temple so that I can avoid having creepers near my base. I need some kitties. That's what I need. Kid Roonies. I'll deal with that later. In the meantime, I need to get me some... Ugh, well, you know what? Since you're gonna get me anyways... Oh! Well, I almost got a record. All right, piggies, come on, piggies. Where is it? Oh, there you are. Okay, you're ready. Let's go. In. Oh no, is it gonna be like this again? Come on. Come on. I'm so proud of you, piggies. No, you can't come back out. But you can eat. Oh, oh, creeper, creeper. I thought he had gone away, but apparently he had finished swimming. Whew. I just got all these animals very carefully. The last thing I need is for that stupid mm. creeper to blow them. Oh yes, now, now it grows. Oh, well, those were, okay, whatever. Well, let's just finish this hopping bit up. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that this brings us to the end of this episode. I think the last one was ridiculously long. I think I ended up with something like an hour worth of footage, which I had to painstakingly go through and cut a lot out. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's, an hour is too long. Too long. Unless I'm doing actually something that's remotely interesting. But there was a lot of stuff that was repetitive. And why is it? There we go. So, this time we got some stuff done. So that was nice. Mm. And there, there, and perfect. There, all the carrots are filled in now. And part of the potatoes are filled in. So most of that's all done. I do have all of my animals that I'll need. Well, for the most part. Got a nice little stock of cows, got the pen set up, so the agriculture portion of the empire is thriving nicely. Woo so the next one, the next part, I think, we will go ahead and begin to scout out a place for our actual base, rather than just, you know, depend on this creeper magnet. It's a creeper. Oh, oh my gosh. I totally forgot that we had pumpkins. Totally. All right, well, this is perfect, though. So what we're gonna see here. Mm, you know what? I will plant the pumpkins next time. Next time. So this has been really fun. I do enjoy playing games for you guys, and I hope you enjoy watching them. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please go ahead and comment, rate, or subscribe, and do not forget to hit that like button. I appreciate any and all feedback. Oop! Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, definitely. And then we will go ahead and get all this stuff done for next time. This has been Cherry with Cherry A Chatters. Thanks for being with me. Bye now. Have a marvelous day.